In our health alert tonight, with summer fast approaching, most of us will be reaching for that sunscreen. And that's important because we need to protect our skin. Don't mm -hmm. want to get any time of skin cancer. Absolutely. But yeah. from rub ons to spray ons, how do all those chemicals actually affect our environment? Our chief health editor, Dr. Parthenandi, is here with that answer. Doc? So, um, there's really no denying that our sunscreen are, are getting into the environment. While studies are definitively showing an effect on marine life, the results are really not definitive. Now, one reason results are being questioned is that they're being done in labs with really highly concentrated amounts of sunscreen chemicals, and these tests do not reflect real-life marine conditions. And when it comes to spray-ons, here's the problem is that you're very likely to breathe in those nanoparticles which can affect the health of your lungs and possibly causing irreversible damage. Not good. And since they float through the air, others may breathe them in as well. So we're protecting our skin, but maybe not the environment. Uh, what do we do, Dr. Nandy, to protect both? So absolutely, Glenn, that's a great question. So what we, we can do is do other things, like you can wear lightweight clothing to cover up instead and only apply sunscreen to exposed areas. The American Cancer Society has kind of a catchphrase, slip, slop, slap, and wrap. Dave uh, Rexrod would love that phrase. Slip on a long sleeve shirt, slap on a wide brim hat, slap on the sunscreen and use UV protective sunglasses that wrap around the eyes. So those are nice tips there. You know, Doc, a lot of people just say, oh, I'll just use this one type of sunscreen. But when it does come to sunscreens, are some choices better than others? Absolutely. I recommend you try a mineral sunscreen instead of the chemical. The main ingredients in mineral sunscreens are typically zinc oxide, titanium dioxide, or a combination of both. And here's the thing, they work immediately because they sit on your skin and physically block the UVA and UVB rays. While chemical sunscreens, well, they need about 20 to 30 minutes before they become effective, and they're more likely to cause skin irritation. And what's really disturbing to me is that they've shown to be found in the urine of 97 7% of users, but no matter what method you choose, one thing that us doctors agree on is that we need to protect ourselves because skin cancer is the number one form of cancer in the United States, and we've got to do something about it. So don't, doesn't mean that you don't protect your skin, so please take, take heed to that. Always a tough balance to being safe. Dr. Nandy, thank you. Happy Friday to you. Happy Friday to you. And if you have a question or a health concern for the good doctor, you can email him at drnandy at askdrnandy.com or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter. We'll get it right to him. And don't forget to tune in tomorrow at 1 p.m. for an all-new Dr. Nandy show. This week, he's answering the question, are your genes really your destiny?